well, I think women are not given permission to be anything. I mean, they're not given permission to be in their male side. They're not given permission to be in their female side. They're not given permission to, um, to age. They're not given permission to stay young looking. Um, they're not given permission to be rich and successful or to lead. And I think it's important to give women permission to be authentic and to remember that we all have male and female sides within us, that balance of yin and yang energy, and that it's okay to express a feminine side. It's okay to express a masculine side. It's okay to age. It's okay to stay the same age. And that it's possible to surround ourselves with a network of support that will allow us to be authentic and actually encourage authenticity. I love that. And you are so right. And it's so sad, but so true. We aren't allowed to be any of those things. We, there's a mold that we belong to, but we don't know what that mold is. And it changes. And what you said about not being able to express our masculine side not being able to express our feminist life. If you're masculine, you're too masculine. They would prefer someone, maybe even if you're talking relationally, a man might want a woman who's more feminine, but you're too feminine. You're not strong enough. So you're supposed to be strong and be weak and need them. At the same time, it gets very confusing. And also the aging thing, you know, we live in this era of plastic surgery, right? Instant results. And um, it's so hard to keep up with. And you know, there's women getting, you know, what do they call them? Mommy makeovers and, you know, everything's lift and tucked and Botox and lips and you name it. And it makes it really hard for those women who say, you know what, I really don't want to do that. And I think it's us that are mothers, not all of us, but I'm going to speak for myself. I'm a mother. I have a 21 year old daughter. I don't want to do those things because I don't want her to feel her worth is based on looking a certain way. So I refuse. And so I'm aging as gracefully as I possibly can without all that. So it is important. And that's what I think that I'm trying to create here with women such as yourself, amazing women that are really, really working hard, committing their life, their, their life's work, their passion, time, everything in order to help people like those women you talked about to be okay with who they are and to create, like you said, a, a posse, basically a family, a village. It takes a village of women lifting each other up and accepting and making it maybe even a movement, maybe in a different direction than where we've been going for a while. I think that would be beautiful. And I said this before in one of my shows, and I say it all the time, if we were blind, if everyone were blind, what choices would we make? What choices would we make in our homes, our friendships, our relationships and trying to erase that visual aspect out of everything that creates such um, disillusion, I think, to what's really behind what we're looking at. <laughs>